I'm Jeanette, and this is my boat Tilda that I bought in 2020 and started to prepare for my dream of long-term sailing towards distant shores. It's been quite some work, and still there is a lot more left to do. But one step at a time the journey has begun, with no rush to sail as far as possible, and instead taking the time to enjoy as much as possible, and sharing the experience with others. I hope you will enjoy too. We cannot stay here for the night, it's not protected enough for the wind that we have right now. And um, choosing between uh, going to another place nearby or sail through the night, uh, we think that we still want to go south from here. And uh, tonight is uh, the only like time within a fair couple of days that's going to have favorable winds for that. So. If we leave this evening, we will have um, a nice downwind instead of go beating if we wait until tomorrow. So we're going to wait uh, for uh, uh, the sunset because we don't want to arrive in the middle of the night. Maybe if we arrive in like five in the morning, it will be daylight already. So we're going to hang here and then um, uh, make some dinner and then we're going to leave later on. It looks like it's going to be a really nice night. And it was, it was really a perfect night for a night sail. So we set the sails and started to head south. And we let Johan sleep a lot during the night because it was only his first day at the sailboat and uh, having a night watch by yourself might be a little bit too much when everything is new to you and you have to wake somebody up as soon as you have any questions. We had an almost perfect night sail here. Uh, it was super nice. Um, moon was up and uh, it got kind of fast. We were here uh, about 4.30 um, it was almost like a little bit of light all the time so at 4.30 it was almost daylight again and uh, now we slept quite a while and we're so tired. I think I forgot to tell where we are, but we are now at Linda Kroken. And um, during breakfast, we discussed to, to bring some coffee along and uh, do a small hike. Uh, there is another island next to this place, uh, and it's supposed to be a, a very nice pebble beach there. And we think we can walk the way there. Um, likely it's going to be a little bit wet, but, but hopefully we can walk over and um, yeah, I think we are really tired still from the night sail. So that will be like a good day. Uh, stretch your legs a little bit and then just uh, relax on the beach with, uh, with coffee and enjoy the sun. So uh, this is like where we came from uh, in this morning. We got to the wet part. 
but uh, we decided to keep walking anyway and um, yeah we just to <laughs> take some shoes off and it's warm in the water so who cares really this is just another day of walking and we love hiking i think this is the most wet hike we've ever done but it's gonna be so worth it to get there the tricky part is just that there is no trace, there is like no path there, there is no markings, we don't really know where to go and um, we just hope to see some place on the other side where we can get out of the water. <laughs> it's like maybe we should have brought a dinghy here. It's not deep enough though but... <laughs> Look at this! Here it is. We made it. Just like a little bit left to walk and then coffee time. Whoa, where's the hike? fun or sad maybe somebody is left with all of the shoes still at the dock i'm so glad that's not us look at this the entire family collection and if you like this episode please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel mm -hmm.